Okay, welcome back. Doing all signs. There is through Pisces. If it is not your story, acknowledge. Move on. We are starting with Elemental Quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. First, fire. Morning. Somebody's frisky tonight. Somebody's frisky, but it's not this person. Okay, clouded. This person wants to be happy. Oh, so they're coming in. They want to be happy. They want to discuss this. It's like there's something that's foggy. I can see clearly now. They're not sure about this. It's a difficult relationship, but they do want to put some work into it. Frustrated. Okay, so this person wants to come in and try to clear things up. All right. What do we have for Gemini Libra Aquarius? Libra. Who I swear snorted coffee. What? Yeah, he's wound up. Okay, this person feels like they see right through you. <laughs> They think that you are uh, very passionate. That or you do. see through them. Okay, so this is compromise. This is laying it all out. Okay, the, the moon reversed is, you know, still feeling like there's some misunderstandings here or something that's not clear, but they feel like they see you for who you are. That's actually nice energy. One more, because I'm nosy. Wanting to, they feel like they could get on the same page with you. They got a lot of lust for you. A lot of lusty, lusty. All right, what do we have for Cancer Scorpio Pisces? Cancer Scorpio Pisces source. Okay, three came out. This, this isn't going anywhere with this person. They're impatient as hell. They could be in a different relationship that's already turned upside down. I'd be careful with that one. Heavy on the Sagittarius. Icky, icky. Stay away. Stay away. That would be a headache from hell. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Going the wrong fucking direction here, Cancer. Potentially. This person is just done. Just done. They feel like they're doing the work. They feel like it's taking too long, so they're moving into a different direction. They're not coming around. Very, very guarded, very defensive. There is still some hope here, but not right now. Eight of Pentacles reversed. They're not focused on this. So they can be a wuss, a candy ass, and just giving up on this, but they, there's something about it that they feel guarded and afraid of being hurt. All right, let's get a clean deck for you. All right, so the Wookiee pulled out from our love deck, watching love. Who is watching our Aries? Who is watching? Big brother! Shush. Oh, yeah. Who is watching the Aries? Whoever it is, they're doing a damn good job. Come on now. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm feeling this person's frustrated, wanting to plan to move forward, but they're holding back right now. They're they're planning. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. No, they're not playing. They're watching. <laughs> with a plan in mind. What does this person want? What do they want? Okay, they want you. They want to be happy again. They're thinking about you, reminiscing about you with positive memories, not wanting to let go of you. Can be a Leo. Will they approach you or are they just going to sit around with their finger up their nose watching? No, they're going to make an offer. Mm -mm -mm. This is somebody that's coming back around. This is really a quick reading here. Somebody from your past wants to come back around. They want to make an offer. They want something very tangible. They're being quiet right now because they're trying to figure themselves out. They're trying to figure out... How to go about this. It's like, I finally have the right idea. I finally know how to approach Aries, but it's slow, methodical, very uh, reliable. So if they hadn't been reliable in the past, this person has great intention. I mean, wow. How will you feel about this? Well, there is passion here, but it's something that you're going to have to change your mind about. So something has to be, and it looks like it's going to be a little bit harder for you to open up. There. 
Let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck. I don't think you see this coming. The moon. They could have made you feel like uh, afraid they were never coming back, but it's all on perception. Uncertain about the future. This person's got nine cups out of ten and wants to offer you a new beginning, wants to make a deal with the devil, maybe. Are you the devil? But they're on the straight and narrow. It's potential for great success. This person wants to try to clear things up. They still have feelings for you. This is planning, but I feel like there is some frustration here. But it's saying, from now on, I, I want this to go forward. I From now on, I want to make an offer. From now on, I want us to be happy. It's beautiful energy. I really can't say much more about it. There is something, a choice that was made. Let's get one more for the Two of Swords. One more for that Two of Swords. Why the Two of Swords reversed? There's definitely something you put your foot down about before. It took its toll on you. You're less guarded because you don't feel it. I mean, I don't think you feel this is coming, but it's like, who's making the first move there? It could have been that there was a distance. It could have been that you caught them online talking to somebody, but they do want to put work into this connection. The two of swords reversed is like, um, I made a final choice, but who's making the first move? It looks like this person. It could have been a very harsh realization of what had happened, but you're less guarded than you had been. It's who's making the, the first move, and it looks like they're watching, but it's going to be them. Waiting. Anticipation. They're thinking very heavily about you. Okay, and then look at this. They want to reconcile, and they're not sure that you feel the same way. So you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the... I mean, you still have passion for this person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You're holding back a little bit. This is very much your ex or an ex watching you, wanting to put more work into a situation, and you really kind of having to think about it. But I don't think you see it coming with the moon having popped in there. It could be a Pisces. There is a lot of passion. You do see them as extremely bold. You could also see them as a bit of an attention hole and a flirt, just saying, because the King of Wands definitely is determined to get what the hell they want, okay? But this is really nice energy about somebody. I don't see anything terrible in here. Obviously, if this is your story, you'd know better. But this is beautiful energy for a reconciliation. Absolutely. This is wishing, hoping, wanting, feeling like they got it made, that, you know, that enthusiastic terrific feeling like this yes you know it's like woohoo so you have pretty much all signs up here leo heavily let's get an answer the wookie is going to pull out our birthday tarot that has the yes no with the major arcana okay good. thank you dear and we're gonna see what we have for you aries okay i'm on this one here and I want this one here. This is the card, All of Second Chances. You have two yes, okay? So strength and judgment, beautiful. Judgment is a, is a second chance. It's a new chapter. Strength is holding back. It's having what you need to, you know, think about things, not just jump into it. Hold back a little bit. Get the communication out there. But this is saying, this is forgiving. This is a second chance. This is beautiful energy for reconciling. There's nothing negative here at all. So obviously, you'll know what it could mean for you. But that is absolutely fantastic. Well, that's what I have, Aries. And on we go. All right, Taurus. Elemental quickies first. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius source. Okay. All right. This person is a nitpicker. It's like drama fest. They could have put you in a in a position to have to choose between two or that they made you a choice, but there's so much bickering and head games here that you're just impatient. You're like, take your bad judgment elsewhere. I don't think whatever had happened, if it had been a third party, you don't have any faith in this. You got the star at the bottom of the deck. No faith in this person. Mm -mm. So if they came back around, you'd say, nope, no pity for you. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Wheel of Fortune reversed. All right, do we pity this person for the karma they're getting? 
We pity the fool. No, we don't. They're not over you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They can't move forward. Bottom of the deck, you got the devil reversed. This is somebody that's in their mind. They haven't spoken out yet, but in their mind, they're saying, if I change my values, would Taurus take me back? Yeah, they're not done. They know that you're still disconnected, and right now you'd say no and take a lot of convincing, but they don't feel like this is done. We're going to put the two back in the deck. So they got some karma. Aww. They got like double karma, okay? Because they're feeling sad, sacky, and they can't get you off of their mind. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I don't always have to be right, but I'm holding back my emotions. I'm a stick in the mud. I feel deceit here. I feel deceit, and they know that you just closed off. It's like I'm keeping it in how I feel. It's like throwing my hands up in the air. I'm not dealing with your arguments anymore. We're talking bitter bullshit battles. Bitter bullshit battles. And there's that devil reverse. I'll drop my toxic ways. We can get back together. You got a real toxic jackass in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Some of you sure the hell do. With a, ooh, with a problem with their fucking temper, I'm feeling. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns. It's funny how the elemental cookies sometimes wrap into each other and into the full read. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, source. Okay. Emotional ADD. This person's not putting any work into shit right now. Lazy. Lazy. No ambition. Paying no attention to you or the situation, so they're ignoring it. Not talking, not talking. Could be getting attention elsewhere, but they are feeling sorry about it. I feel like they're trying to pump themselves up by hanging out with other people and getting attention from other people, but deep down, they're regretting that they didn't put more work into this. So they are missing you. That is somebody that definitely is missing you. Okay, my Wookiee is going to get you a love card. Okay, so the Wookiee pulled friend zone love for you. Source, tell me what this is about. Let's see if we can get the situation first. What's the situation? Wheel of Fortune. One more. This is your progress and you moving forward. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it does seem like there was a choice that had to be made or somebody made a choice and moved away from you possibly. But this is looking more like things are going damn good for you and that you met somebody there's a deep bond with and you're keeping it to yourself. You're holding it in. Why the four of pentacles? It's like you're controlling this from getting out of hand. What are we controlling from getting out of hand? Queen of Pentacles. Not letting it get too deep or too fast or too furious. Why? Why the Queen of Pentacles? Why are we feeling the need to... It's almost saying like you're a commitmentful. You do care about somebody, but you want this person to come at you right or you want this to go right. So you're holding back your feelings... What came out all by itself? Knight of Cups. Why do we have the Knight of Cups moving forward? That's dating. That's somebody coming in your direction with something to offer, trying to swoon your pants right off your ass. Very interested in expressing their emotions. Oh, that's the problem. You have choices. <laughs> you have more than one suitor that's looking at you. One is very... Cancer Scorpio Pisces, very dreamy. Actually, I'm, you know, I hate to do that, but they, you know, you guys like the who it could be. So Aries Leo Sag, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but they can have any placement of that. But with the Knight of Cups, you have somebody that that's emotional and can be more laid back and um, expresses how they feel. They're very genuine with their intent, and they, you know, they're okay with taking things slow, even though they have that passionate side. The Knight of Wands just purely comes in with a huge attraction and pursues the shit out of you. They're very prideful. They want attention. They come in quick. Sometimes they can leave quick, but they're flirtier. Okay, not that this can't be a flirt. It can. 
So the lovers, that's the choice. It's like either way I'm moving forward. So you're holding back from the long term until you decide which one you're more interested in. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Because obviously one you're going to friend zone. Okay, so there is a little bit of doubt, or you are wanting to plant your seeds there. Ah, that person could have hurt you, though. That could be this person that you friend zone because you're like, you hurt me already. I'm not dealing with your shit. Because that knight can also be an apology. Okay, the knight of cups can be, I'm sorry, I regret what I did. I, I want to try to make up for it. Tell me about the knight of wands. That's the restless hot that wants to come in and definitely, ooh, a lot of passion. Very, very, very persistent. Two of Cups. Okay, choice been made. Woo! So you are going to slow their roll. You got three nights up here. This is you saying, slow your roll. Keep it in your pants until I get to know you better. You're going to really put your foot down. It shows how damn independent and serious you are about this. Okay? So if you have to cut them out, you'll cut them out. You are definitely cutting one out. The Seven of Pentacles, it's like, I want long term. I'm not sure about the results with you. So it's like, I don't think you've already hurt me. You've already hurt me. You've already disappointed me. This person damn well knows it, but they still want to come in. So I feel like you're friend zoning this person here. It's like, hey, no hard feelings, but I'm not dealing with that shit again. They're watching you. They're watching and stalking. Tell me more about this. Knight of Wands. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the Knight of Swords. So definitely quick, 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 quick. Ambitious. But you, that's clarity that you're telling them. It's almost like that Queen of Swords where they're like very, this is how this goes. I determine. Like Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman. I say who, I say when, I say who, and you will treat me like I deserve to be treated. So demanding respect. I love it. Oh, yeah. Bottom of the deck, there's that Queen of Swords again. Cock up Queen. It's like, I'm going to be very direct, and you're going to treat me the way I deserve to be treated, or this is going to be a no-go. But the energy here is quick. Fast. Heading towards you, like it or not. <laughs> okay, the communication is based on truth. If it was reversed, I'd say no thank you. All right. So this person, the Empress is respected, okay, but very giving and emotional, so it does look like you will open up to this person, not the page of, mm -mm. this person over here you're holding back from, you're like, I, yeah, I still have interest in you, but, you know, you fucked it up, so there's the friend zone, all right, you know, the page of, of pentacles is like, uh, yeah, hmm, very small reliability, very small offer, trying to learn. It's like, I learned all right from this. With the cut of the deck, two of swords, it's a very difficult decision that you had to make with this person. There could have been a major stalemate going on. Why does this person get friend zoned? What did they do? What did they do? Okay, this is just saying that they weren't on the same page as you. Just plain and simple. So it's I'm 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 on to a new chapter. This isn't, you know, detrimental. You just want something that is more stable. Can be an Aries coming your direction, can be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. I want new. I want a new chapter. I want to move forward. I want something to look forward to. I mean business. I mean business. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, we're going to take it, too, because this is the new coming in here. So you're holding back from the ex or somebody that you had an encounter with. I don't care if it was a freaking one-night stand. It's there. Judgment. Making clear judgment. I mean, you could be seeing both of these people at the same time to really decide. Ooh, two of wands. Yeah, you really got to think about it. There's fascination. Your eyes roam in both directions and really thinking about it, but it does look like this is the one where you're going to plant your ass on the couch next to and watch TV and cuddle up to and want to be in that falling in love type feeling but it's stable this person it's like <laughs> they might come in really quick but they know that you're gonna have your oh, wish fulfillment trust I promise it's also your healing from that person that had hurt you this is beautiful energy beautiful 
That one is a big fat no. Okay, you're just telling them no. But moving forward, the star card is possibly an Aquarius. You have Libra Taurus for this newer person. Um, Aries, but mm, Libra Taurus, mm, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is doing what's absolutely the best for you, having faith in a situation. This person makes you feel comfortable, comfy, cozy. I like it. Anything else? We're only taking flippers. Beautiful energy. Five of Swords. This person's still going to come in with indignant bullshit. I think you're just going to walk away from it. It's like, I, yeah, you regret what you did. You regret the bullshit, but I'm sidestepping your drama. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not getting involved with your business. I'm not getting involved with your bullshit. And they could have made it a third-party situation. If it was reversed, I'd definitely say a little more likely. I'm not really necessarily feeling like it was. If it was third-party, you didn't know about it, okay? But you don't want to deal with their drama. You don't want to deal with your their shit, not at all. You have too many doubts, so you friend zone their ass because that's doubt. It's going, I, I don't know. I don't know that I can trust you. That's my splint. The Wookiee insisted, and he's right. But this person does care about you. But that's not the king. Mm -hmm. It's not the king. It's not the most mature love. Neither is the new one, but it's new. And look how they boss up. Boss up. Stability. Fours are all about stability, and this person's very powerful. They're the father-like type figure. They have the need to kind of, I'm not saying tower over you, but they like to have, um, they like to keep you safe and secure type feeling. So they definitely put energy work into this. This is really nice. This is really nice new dating. It really is. And here is your, that's moving forward. You have three cards of a new chapter. It's incredible. Gemini's possibility. You're holding back on that long term and until you decide so everybody's going to be different it is a collective reading but this is beautiful energy of making the right choice for yourself i love it love it okay and then the wookie is going to get us the yes no major arcana tarot that we use for answers love that deck all right let's see what we get Isn't he sweet? Isn't he sweet? He's not even grumbling. Aww. But he did do an eye roll. That was cute. <laughs> Just because next time somebody says the universe is talking, listen to it. Might be the universe is just rolling its eyes at you. Well, the Wookiee definitely does. Okay. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice energy. Uh -huh. I feel this one. Thank you. Ooh, I love it. Look at that. Crap. Manifesting. Oh, you guys have been putting work into this. This is the, the cycle of new, the newness, the new chapter. I'm moving forward. I'm achieving a goal. This is success. The world is success. Yes, you will make the right choice. Yes, you're manifesting this. Yes, this is just having everything that you need and it's communication, but it's initiation. Both of these are moving forward. Beautiful energy. Oh, I like it. Oh, very nice for you, Taurus. All right, that's what we have for you, and on we go. All right, Geminis, you ready? We're ready. We're ready. Elemental quickies. If you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Source, what do we have for fire signs? Six of Wands and the King of Cups. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This person wants to pay attention to you. They want to grow feelings with you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Emotionally available. That looks nice. Paying attention to you. And it's win it. Very confident as well. You got the emperor. They mean business. Ooh. Heavy on the Aries. This person has very good intentions. And they want to, you know, but they want um, equal equal give and take okay it's confessing their emotions but it's also good news by the way the six of wands can be a return of an ex okay so it depends on the type of attention you want but they care about you for who you are it's very nice energy gemini libra aquarius gemini libra aquarius 
burn. All right, see what we got. Now we know why. This person is ignoring you, and they don't see any future here. Nope, not at all. It's blocked. I also could see that you're ignoring them, and they feel like it's on purpose. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, we got the devil. A little bondage, personal negative thoughts, temptation, addictions. Could be addicted to you, baby. No, it's a fucking player. Run for the hills. Run. Their intent is not good. No. Mm -mm. And they could be in a connection with somebody else with the queen. Oh, uh, pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That's a player. And they like to have, it's, you know, selfish. Selfish shit. They're in, they're out. All right. And there are wire pants. Wire pants, wire pants. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. This person wants to come in quick and fix this problem. They don't want an ending. You could have dodged a bullet with this, but it's like you're you're kind of on the fence about if you're going to allow them to come back in. It's like, I want to come back in. I want to come home. I want to come back in now, 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 now. They're not the most suave with the way they talk about things, but this is very, very too. It's too fast. It's too fast. It's like not not this sudden, not this fast, are you coming in again? They want to be with you. They consider you long-term home. Okay. The Wookiee is going to get us a love card. I'm going to clean this up. Yeah, okay. All right, Gemini, you got run away love. Source, what is this situation? What is this situation for Gemini's? Stubborn. All right. Okay, there's that night. That's too quick. All right. Okay, so you got a stoic jackass that wants to come in quick and you're guarded. Guarded as hell. Why are you so guarded? Paranoid, defensive, doesn't trust. It's like you've had your share of this shit and you're like, I'm emotionally over it. Slow your roll. Not going to slow this person down. They want to come in. Okay, but with runaway love, this person could have taken off really fast, leaving you alone by yourself to your own defenses. And then it made you feel shitty and cold towards this person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy on the Libra here. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, they want to make contact. Oh, we can get past this, baby. I can be your boo again. How do you feel about this person? There's that feeling of I'm ignoring you on purpose. You didn't learn anything from this. You're extremely stubborn. You want you think that this person's full of shit. You don't really want to deal with them. It's like I'm taking a time out for people. <laughs> I don't really like people to begin with. You don't trust this person. You don't they, they made you feel inferior that they were that they were um out of control, they could have been bossy, and you did not like it. No, could be an Aries. One more for the Hermit. No, you are not giving in to this person. You're afraid to commit to this person. This turned you into a commitment phobe. It's like you were unreliable. That's them, you know, taken off. They ran away, all right. It can be a Taurus. One more for the Eight of Wands. What do they have to say? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I mean, this person's not reliable. They're immature. They toy with others' emotions, so they're just coming in for bullshit. They're going to tell you, oh, you're the right one for me. I can make this all better. They're full of shit. The Fool can be an Aries, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this person has left you way too guarded. You are not gonna, you're not gonna give them a second chance. If they're looking for one, it ain't gonna happen. 
that taken off so damn fast there. That's like, what is this, a fucking drive-by? Not anymore are you going to leave me feeling this guarded and defenseless. What is new coming towards Gemini's? Singles. Single, 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 singles. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And somebody's got their eye on you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. After you heal. Because that's what's up here. Okay, you're not as confused. But if this person comes in, it's going to confuse the shit out of you. And you're going to be like, no. No, stroke your own damn ego. I am not going to feel underappreciated the way I had been. You led me on and you bailed. No, this is a mm -mm. cut and dry. Big not being treated like an option here. Not at all. So you do have somebody that's watching or interested in getting to know you. This is prosperity, okay? So this can mean your finances are going really good or you're starting something new financially. Just saying, because it is there, it would be something very creative, so I just want to toss it in there. But not being treated like an option. It's like, oh, I'm not confused. No, I know exactly what the hell I want, and it's not to talk to you. The full reversed. No, not reliable, not trustworthy, careless and irresponsible, and this person made you feel stoic and cold and standoffish you're emotionally detached from that person it's the right thing for you this person could have gotten some karma and it's too too late too late that feeling of there can be a little hope left in you but it's not towards this person because this is saying big fat no times like mm, 10 you don't trust them not wanting to talk to them not wanting to deal with them not feeling like they learned any lesson. If it was this way, I'd say, okay, you'd, you'd consider it, even though you've been kind of staying home, trying to figure things out for yourself, trying to figure out. You know, when people ghost you, it leaves you wondering what the fuck actually happened. And I'm feeling like this person just bailed so fast that you were just so confused on what, what, what? And you spend time hermiting, trying to, and you go over it in your mind, and you go over it in your mind, and you're just like, I'm done doing that. You're a commitment phobe person. You you don't stick around. You don't stay with the program. Okay, the Wookiee is going to get us the birthday tarot, Major Arcana. Okay, let's see what we have. We're going to take this one. Okay. And this one here, please. Thank you. All right, you got a double yes. So making a very clear judgment call for yourself. Very clear. You've got choices to make. There could be somebody that you have a uh, soulmate type feeling towards, but you have choices. The lover is, is different choices. It can be a choice between two, but wanting, it's like I'm making a good judgment call on loving myself first and doing what's best for me. This is beautiful energy saying that somebody new is coming into your life. It's just going to take a little bit of time. And it's all based on how you heal. Because the more you think about it, the more you drag that healing process on. If you can't think positively, which does look like you can. This is looking beautiful. If you can think positively, then that balance and harmony and that soulmate comes in quicker with healthy boundaries. But you are giving yourself a healthy boundary yourself. Lovely, lovely energy. Gemini's. On we go. Okay, Cancers, Elemental Quickies, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right. Feeling the need to emotionally walk away, do what's best. I feel like this is blocked energy between you and this person. They aren't sure what makes them happy, but they're trying to figure it out. So right now, no could also mean that this was happier for you since they left. Just saying. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Happier times are coming. Ooh. This person has hope that this can move forward. Can be a Cancer. Can be an Aquarius. Bottom of the deck. Oh. One more. Person's very determined to put faith into this, to put hope into this, to have a connection that feels good, that's something to look forward to. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. You got three major arcana. Wow. Okay, so bossing up. They're coming in fast and furious. Very, very determined. Very determined, but they have a soft side to them as well. This person's stable, and they want stability. They, and the fours are all about stability. That's beautiful. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Can be an Aries. Okay. So you have somebody that wants to fight for this relationship. Are you going to walk away from it? Because right now, it's like, ugh, this person wants their freedom. Okay, well, then have your freedom. But it's like... I don't feel like they're reliable and they still want to argue about this. They might want to try to start over, but you've kind of just gone, this is the way it is and I see it correctly and I'm trying to accept the way that that's just going to be the way it is. It's too much work or took too long for them to get their shit together. All right, so what do we have for Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns? One more shuffle. Okay. Oh. Prosperous, abundance, the feeling of long term and love and offer. This person doesn't just date around, they have intent for long term. That's really nice. You guys, woo, woo. Can we finally get some nice cancer energy? Yay! That'd be awesome. All right, the Wookiee's going to get us a love card. Okay, according to the Wookiee, you have twin Haim love because he, he's been busy trying to do something. Twin flame love so one hell of a soul connection source who is coming towards cancer who is coming towards cancer collective cancers one more shuffle bottom of the deck you have generosity so this is a fair and balanced person not a nut job who is coming towards our cancer You got new dating. Okay, so it can be an Aries, somebody that wants to take a chance. They could be coming in rather quickly. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, what does this person want? What will this person actually want? Okay. I think they're going to respect your boundaries. I'm going to say that much first because it's like they want something that's reliable. So as much as this is the after deck, you know, what it can be afterwards. The fool is jumping in, taking a chance, can be um, at a distance. Both of these cards can be cards of distance, which can be delays. But this, I feel like this person's trying to get past your walls and does so methodically and slow. How will their feelings be long-term wise? Because this feels very new. Oh my. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. This is celebrating. Celebrating and... Whew, the feeling of abundance. The feeling of independence and abundance. So this person sees you in a beautiful light, attractive... Like you take care of yourself and they're interested in having something to celebrate. You can meet them out and about at a gathering of some sort. But with the Nine of Pentacles, it's saying success after some hard work manifesting. So this person's been manifesting a new beginning themselves. I like it. So they want you because you're available. How will Cancer view this person? Okay. So it's like, I could see dating. That is that is mutual interest. Not going to say love just yet, but it sure the hell looks like it could go that direction. This is paying attention. This is, I am in it to win it. I want to move forward, but, you know, definitely demanding that it's something that's worthwhile and that you want long term. But it looks like, <laughs> Wow. Beautiful energy moving forward, okay? Overcoming anything that comes your direction between this person. If you are absolutely single, there's definitely somebody heading your way. How does this turn out? It's pretty obvious. You both have very similar energy. So kind of mirroring a lot of passion. So that's a new interest. 
it's a new chemistry that's really strong. The attraction is hot. Okay. One more for the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Abundance. Okay, you went from the Nine to the Ten. Abundance, abundance, abundance. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. This is new dating. It's new dating. So somebody that you don't know, you don't know everything about them, getting to know them, staying single until you decide that they're making the right offer, but it sure the hell looks good. You got two tens. Complete accomplishment. New, new sexual energy. Really digging this person. Really being interested. Could develop quick, but it's like they're respecting your boundaries if you put your foot down so that they can make a plan. This is planning. This is moving forward. This person delivers a correct offer. They come at you well, come at you with good intention. And the very last card that we're even going to bother with, judgment. This is making a clear judgment call. Now, I will say, just be aware that this can be an X. Returning, coming back, confessing their emotions. Can be, but I'm really feeling this is new with the fool here. But it's making a clear judgment call for yourself. It's a new beginning and taking accountability. So it's like, I'm taking accountability for my emotions and how I treat you, and I expect the same in return. It's really nice energy for new dating. So you have Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a lot of cups, a lot of fire, new dating. New dating, something to celebrate. Aries very heavily. I like this. So can it be that feeling of a twin flame? Yes, it can. Can it be a soulmate? Yes, it can. Can it just be one hell of a nice connection? Yes, it can. All right. And the Wookiee is going to get us the birthday tarot. It's the major arcana with yes and no. I want this one. Nice. Okay, this one. Okay, there's that choice. There's that's the that's the soulmate twin flame feeling. Deep soul connection, beautiful love. It's very mutual. The hermit is taking that. You, you've taken your time out previous to meeting this person to learn the lessons. You know, not that I ever feel like source tr get we make ourselves learn lessons. We put ourselves through the ringer. But taking that time out to make sure you know exactly what you want so that you can see the light. So it's your introspection before you're ready for this dating. But a lot of you apparently are ready. Moving on. Very nice. Okay, Leos. Elemental quickies. Aries, Leo, Sag. No, stop. Sassy Wookie. Two of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So there is a debate about fairness here. One more. This person, I don't think you like the decision that they made. Mm -mm, Nine of Wands. I feel like they're a player in and out. I wouldn't deal with that shit. So they might not like a choice that you made either. They want you to give what? Give it up. That's what they want you to do. Give it up in the sack. No, thank you. Too much screwing and not enough settling down. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Temperance. Okay. Balance. Harmony. Cuddlebug. With, okay. Mm. This person is ready for some dating, but not a lot. Or they see you that way. They're not ready for long-term dating yet. They're just starting to warm up to the idea of it. So they've recently been hurt. So can be a Sagittarius. I want one more. It is a newer connection. This is not Four of Pentacles. It's going to take time for this person to warm up, to, to open up, to warm up, to tell you how they really feel but bottom of the deck the star so there is hope with this person and the sex would be good yeah that's nice and all this is intimacy so this person's 
wanting to date, but they don't want to talk about long term. Like they just want it to kind of happen naturally. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Chariot, Heavy Cancer. Can meet this person on a trip. They're very optimistic. They want to move forward. They can be at a distance. Ten of Pentacles. Can be work related. This person might travel for work. One more. They, they set out to accomplish a goal and they definitely do accomplish. And they want to be happy. So that's ooh, beautiful energy for newer dating. Ooh, 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 ooh. Initiating contact, in it to win it, wanting long term, or they're well off. Beautiful. You got a rich one there. Rich on love and rich in the pocket. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, we got passion, people. We got passion here. And we got taco meat on my table, Wookie. All right, very intense, strong chemistry. This could develop a little bit too quickly. Ugh, and then end up going south. Yeah, I feel like this person comes in for a good screw and then they turn cold and gone. One more, one more. They're not willing to open up emotionally. Oh, and they're argumentative. Yeah, that's like, um. A fucking bail. No fucking bails. No. Mm -mm. Then they ghost you. We don't like that crap at all. That person's a commitment full. They're in it for one thing and it's their own selfish needs. All right. The Wookiee picked, picked a love oracle. We have pure love for you, Leos. All right. Soros, tell us about the pure love. Who is pure love for Leo? Who, 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 who? Cancer. Okay, so this person needs to release something before they can come your direction, but they are determined. Heavy on the Cancer with the Chariot. Determined, 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 but there's something that has to be dropped first. What needs to be released? The Kraken. What needs to be released? What does this person need to release? <clears throat> they're battling with somebody and they're all up in their head about it. So it can be that they're still in a connection that they have to, that they're leaving, that they are leaving. They need to release. This is a feeling of letting somebody win, you know, dealing with opposition, not wanting to deal with the heartache of it, but wanting a new start. So this can be work related. But it's a tangible offer. Okay, so what is the pure love about? Somebody that hasn't come forward or isn't ready to yet, but they do have their eye on you as somebody that could be long-term. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay. Does this person know our Leos already? Sure the hell feels like it. Yes. So this person's aware of you. They know that you're interested, but they're waiting, 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 waiting. The hangman is, it's like they're, they're leaving you hanging because they have to take care of something else first. So it's like they're not, they want something new, even if it's just dating, can be a Pisces, but they can't offer it yet. They don't feel like they can offer it yet. Why? I mean, if they're getting a divorce or trying to take care of something, there's something they got to release. It can be baggage. All right. Why do we have an Ace of Swords? They, they want something to be more clear. They're going to make their intentions known, but they're not ready to yet. You got two Aces, so it's absolutely great, but just not ready yet. Start and small. Give them a little more time. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person might have a crush and just be watching you from afar. Bottom of the deck again, you got the Queen of Wheels. Coins. So they consider you somebody extremely reliable. Okay. Somebody that offers everything. 
intelligent, that you're courageous, that you get your shit together, that you're ambitious and hardworking, and yet warm and able to take care of things. One more for the page. Yeah, they got to end something first. They have to take care of, wrap up some business. Why the tower? And you might not see this coming. It is possible that that's why the tower. Eight of Wands. Give this a little more time and then it looks damn good. I'm going to get the damn... We're going to get the timing card out. Okay. <laughs> this person just looks like it's something that they personally, and they don't want you to know about it, it's none of your business anyway, that they're dealing with that's causing them a, a major headache and arguing with somebody about it. Could be financial, but, you know, they're holding back from letting you know that they're interested at all until the time is right. It's all about timing here, and, and then they have this, bam, it's done, and then it's clearing up for them, and they're manifesting, and they come in. They can travel for work or be at a distance from you source when 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 does this energy clear up that they can come towards leo okay you got on a special occasion one more one more slowly but surely it's really not giving us much here bottom of the deck you got time will tell so we <laughs> We're not getting much from source. Okay, well, the Wookiee is going to get us the yes, no oracle. But this is manifesting. This can be you manifesting this. The eight is all about speaking up to get what you want. So it might be a matter of that. But this person does kind of watch you from afar. They're not ready to come in just yet. All right. Let's have the Wookiee come in and get us a card. In the meantime, we have a lot of fire up here. This person's honest and very direct, but they are, they're in their head, they're making you wait. They're waiting themselves, but clear, concise. They want to move things forward faster than they can. It's not something they can control. Scorpio, Cancer, very heavily. Come here, card. Uh, let's see. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could lead to something very nicely. This person is very determined. You do have cards of travel in here, so this person could travel for work. Just saying. All right. Okay. We are going to take this one here. And this one here. There's the chariot again. Okay. So, Libra, Cancer. This is the right time. It's timing. It's timing. When the time is right, okay, when this person has their balance, when they get back on their feet, then they will come in with that determination. So stick around and stay tuned. That's what we have for you, Leos. All right, Virgos, Elemental Quickies, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Virgo, Source, Collective Virgos. This person is alone. They aren't putting any work into this. Okay, they could be feeling like you don't want to work on this with anymore. They still have interest in you. If they want to come in and have a discussion, it's clear and it's honest. One more, I'm nosy. Ace of Cups makes an offer. Like it, like it. So what don't you feel like they put work into? That's what you got to ask yourself with that one. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Mm-hmm. Is a pain in the ass. Okay, so there's a disconnection. This person feels like things are just taking too long, so they're being cold and shitty. Taking too long, or they're just gonna go, it's too much work. I'm not dealing with this shit. No. Cold, you got the cock block queen there. <laughs> okay. On we go. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You got wish fulfillment. This person feels that they would be content with you. That's a nice energy. Two more source. Ooh, so you got a cuddle bug. This person wants to get intimate. They feel like you would be a good combo. Temperance is a good balance. It's a good combo. 
they are being selfish, thinking that they'd be content with you. So it doesn't mean that you necessarily agree with them, but it looks damn nice. That's merging. So, ooh, I'm interested in you. I want to get busy, but having the patience to. It's a new connection, moderation, and harmony. One more. What do we got? Hair font. They mean business. Mm -mm -mm. They mean business. You might make them wait a little bit. You get the three of wands, but it's like from now on we're together. I mean, that's really nice energy. It just might, I mean, it's normal dating. It takes time to, to work into that hair font. You can't just have, can be a Taurus, can be Sagittarius. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. One more shot. Okay, Four of Pentacles. This person's not over you. They want to hold on to you. They want to hold on to the feeling of it. And I think that they're an, a manipulator. So I feel like you're saying no go, no second chance. Ouch. All right. And the Wookiee's going to get us a love oracle. Get these out of the way. Okay. Okay, Virgo, you got shy love. Hmm. All right, Source, tell us about the shy lover. Who's the shy lover? Ooh. That definitely can be a shy person. This is somebody that is balanced, does want to initiate contact with you, can be a Sagittarius. Moderation. They could be going through a period of healing right now, and that's why they're not ready. It kind of looks that way. Needing to release something. Feeling the need to let something go. What do they need to let go of? Okay. Somebody from the past. <clears throat> Somebody from the past could have been a third party situation that they had put been put into now they kind of are afraid of intimacy a lot lots a lot of bit restless but they have some trust issues here why so shy oh they they've got negative memories when it comes to and trust issues trust issues icky icky but it's there so we're saying it they got to let go of that shit before they're going to be ready. Okay, so the Six of Cups, they've got negative memories. Doesn't mean it has to deal with you. They want somebody that's going to love them for who they are. The Hangman Reverse, they have trust issues and feel like somebody in their past has wasted their time. Do we know this person? You may know this person. It can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now we just use that for upright, so don't get too excited about the Knight of Wands. How do we know this person? You could meet them at a reception. You could meet them out and about, but it's amongst people, okay? There's a celebration of sorts that you could meet this person at. So it feels like newer energy you may have. If you've been to something recently out and about and have met somebody, now they're kind of coyly watching you. May have asked somebody, yeah. This is moving into a new direction. This person has got the hotties for you. They want to move things forward. They can be at a distance from you, but they still get the doggy donor. They're still confused, still confused. And I'm pulling these right off the deck. Page of Swords, they're watching you quietly. They're just not ready yet. Page of Cups. They got a crush on you. This is somebody that they want truth and stability, but they are not ready. So this is a delay right now because they're still anxious and up in their head about their own shit, their own ending. So this person had an ending recently. Somebody that didn't put enough work into the situation and just kind of treated them like a shit ball. Okay. Not a good feeling. Mm -mm. So they're trying to work on themselves, trying to manifest, and I believe we have the, where did it go? 
was that the star? No, it was tower. Yeah, this person could be going through a divorce, a separation right now. Something that they didn't want necessarily, but they had trust issues. So this person could have put them in a third party situation with the two of wands reversed there. It really took them off guard. It really just, just kind of like broke them for a hot minute. They are slowly working on healing and releasing that so that they can move forward, but they're feeling hesitation. They're afraid of having a repeat of history, and it's like, I, I really want love. I want to be loved for who I am. So they do want new dating, but they're just getting ready to get ready. There's a lot of passion here, so when they are ready, woohoo! But right now, I'm feeling this person's a little foggy with them, yet yeah, they're that or you're confused. Why the Seven of Cups? You already know this person and you have an interest in them. You're wondering what the fuck the deal is. That's what the deal is. Ace of Wands. Holding back. They're just not ready yet. It's a delay. Delayed. Why the Sun Reverse? Nine of Pentacles. They don't want to deal with anybody that fucks with them. Nine of Pentacles reversed can be very, very codependent and very, very unsatisfied, okay? So until they free up this energy, they're just not ready. One more for the King of Wands can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Heavy, Leo, Pisces. You're going to be waiting for this person. Yeah. They're not ready to open up yet. Not ready to open up yet. And they're going through a separation with the Ten of Pentacles here reversed. Mm -mm. They're walking away from something that no longer served them. But they are done. So that is the... I know it doesn't sound like good news, but it is good news. Because they are done. If it was this way, they wouldn't be over their ex. They are done. They are done. They're trying to heal. They're working on themselves. They're taking care of shit in court, whatever the case may be. They don't feel the connection with this person from the past anymore. This person is not with them. Not reliable. This person could have cheated on them. So they're just not ready yet. Why are they shy? Because they're holding back so they can heal. So let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bottom of the deck, though. Look at this. Ace cups. Give it time. That's new dating. New dating as soon as they feel like they can trust again. They just need a little more time. You've got the, it's a good counterpart type person. So they are outgoing and bold, but it's just like somebody took the wind out of their sail. So they're no, I don't think they're shy. I think that they're just gun shy, not wanting to push anything forward right now. They need to take care of other shit. They can travel for work. They can travel to come to see you, but they're going to hold in their emotions. So it's like, even if they thought of you in a loving way, they're going to hold it back until they're ready. They have a lot of energy they got to let go of that's negative. Cut of the deck. They're feeling that you could be a decent person mm -hmm, and that you would be more stable. Can be an Aries, can be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All signs are up here. Cancer's heavy, the Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius with the world here. It will be a new chapter. It's just not time yet. Heavy Leo. So if you're wondering what, what about this person seems confused or if you're trying to contact them, why they seem elusive, that's why. They're, they're not wanting to deal with anything negative and they're just really licking their wounds yet can be a Pisces, but they're releasing it. They're releasing it and they're working on their healing and they are a good person. I like it. I like it. So if you're dealing with somebody that you're not sure what the hell they're thinking, give them a little more space. Keep in contact, but give them some space. All right. And the Wookiee is going to get for us the Birthday Tarot Oracle. Okay. Let's see what we have for a yes, no, maybe. You know, this one wants to come with it, so we're taking it. Okay. Temperance, again, that person's healing. So a little goes, little goes. Hold back from this person a little bit. These are both beautiful cards of yes. Can be a Leo, can be a Sagittarius. Heavy on the fire signs here. But this person needs somebody that is understanding and very compassionate. 
I'm not saying they're a wimp, but uh, emotionally they need it slow. Okay, so don't be pushy, but you got two beautiful cards of yes. You got a double yes, Virgos. And on we go. And on we go to the everlasting, wonderful. Libra! Great. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. If you are dealing with the element of fire, they miss you. What else? Uh, they have optim. Look at the optimism here. This is wanting to take another shot at things. They miss you. They want to be with you. They can't stop thinking about you. So I would say that this person, the sun can be initiation. I would say this person would reach out. Because they're obsessed. Oh, hush. Wookie. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah. That one. Yeah, that one. Hangman, okay. This person's dropping it. Dropping it. They're trying to get a different perspective about this. Can be a Pisces. One more. One more. Came out sideways. I don't know. I think they got a little karma. That or they're still thinking about coming your direction. Manifesting. Really in... Uh, almost like hermit mode. They're really trying to get a different perspective. They could have dropped this and now they're getting some karma, but they want to come back your direction. Mm. How will you view this? I'm nosy. Okay, so some of you want that breakthrough with that person. You want to know where the hell you stand. Mm -hmm. It's anticipation. All right. What do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this is somebody. Somebody's definitely not over you and still up on their, they, they care. One more. They cannot stop thinking about you in a very loving way. Feeling there's still hope and faith here. Mm, mm, mm. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Okay, you get the three of pentacles, and there's that magician. This person wants to initiate contact. They want to get on the same page with you, and they want to reconcile. They want something to celebrate, okay? So if this was not something old, this would still say this person meets you out. They dig you. They meet you amongst people in a group of people. They still have feeling that they want to move your direction. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like it. All right, let's move this out of the way. You got mixed energy. Mixed energy, my collectives. It does look like you are waiting to hear from somebody or wanting somebody to come clean about something, though. Okay, let's get this out of the way. The Wookiee flipped cards and got surrender to love for you. So let's see what this is about. Okay. <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> okay. So we want this one. Could you hold them any tighter? Yeah. The Emperor. <laughs> no, I'm feeling this one. Okay. So, you, yes, you are moving forward. The Emperor is the maybe because it's like wanting that feeling of stability. It can be an Aries, but this is like, this is this is all up to fate. Okay. What you decide is what you decide, and then you decide if it moves forward. So come on, Libra, this is all about what you what you decide is going to be best for you, and it does go in a good direction. All right, Libras, that's what we have for you. All right, Scorpios, Elemental Quickies, if you were dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Looking for some stability, will I tell you a story here? All right, arguments and not talking. Nope. It's like, I'm not dealing with this person's drama, so you're just turning your back and saying, fuck that. They got some karma, though. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Mm. That's the one. All right. This person is releasing some heartache. Just throwing in the white towel. This can be you throwing in the white towel with this person. Wanting it back, though. 
Okay, so there's a lot of pain between you and this person and somebody walked away and it hurts like hell. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. They're not over you. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Nope. Emotionally not available. Nope. Karma, karma, karma. The hell here. One more. This person's not focusing on anything besides feeling sorry for themselves. Big pity party. Restless as hell. What else? They may want to come back. But it'd be financial. Be careful with that. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. I want to be happy. Bliss. Contentment. New chapter. Ooh. Stalking, watching. So this can be new. Very new. They don't want to hold back for very much longer. Can be a Leo. That's really nice energy, though. Can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. I feel the need to say. Okay, I got to tell you guys this. So I pause in between to rest the shoulder, right? Mm -hmm. And what happened was I'm like, okay, I'm going to meditate on Scorpio. And I saw the Empress and the Sun card. That's pregnancy. And guess what? The next card up on this deck was baby love. So be careful. And then new love, which can be a new life. Okay, so on that note, let's get a clean deck. Okay, you ready? I don't know that I am. Scorpio, source. What's coming towards Scorpios? Something reliable. It can be finances. Why do we have the King of Pentacles? It can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's the Father. Somebody that is extremely reliable and they don't just date to date. And it's a choice. So planning, planning, plotting, fascination, feeling like something pays off. Why do we have the two? Didn't you guys have a pregnancy scare? Okay. Somebody is not over you, not over you. They could have taken off and now they come in with embellished truths. Don't like that. One more for this King of Pentacles. Can we rely on... Oh, there's the Sun card. Okay. All right. So something that is optimistic coming your direction. I don't know if it's necessarily this X. How do you feel about the King of Pentacles? Because I came out without trying. How do you feel about this King of Pentacles? Oh, shit. No shit. You cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. What did I say? The Empress and the Sun. This can be a pregnancy with somebody that you have been with for a long term, but there's a separation. But not for long, possibly. This definitely is saying there can be a new child on the fucking way. Okay. One more for this two. One more for this two. Choices. Choices to make. Decisions. Planning. Judgment. Second chances. Okay, so some of you, if you end up pregnant, you will go back to the person that you got pregnant or the, that you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because with this, we have also at the bottom of the deck, balance, healing the situation, having everything that you need to do so, and having that connection back. So some of you are going to get pregnant, are pregnant, and end up back with your ex. This is second chances. Well, wow. Okay, so if we don't have a baby coming, what do we have for those that are absolutely single? Gemini, you have the lover's card. This is a deep canal, oh boy. Deep connection. And guess what? The star card also can be a pregnancy, okay? This is wishing, hoping, wanting this to work out. This is beautiful energy for new dating. Soulmate type feeling, hoping, yearning. Wanting, feeling that there's a promise of new love and there sure the hell is. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. So if you are not 
you have, okay, if you're not up here with this getting pregnant and having a child on the way and getting back with your ex because you feel like they're not over you anyway, but they do want the second chance because of this pregnancy. That's what makes it happen. That's what makes the love new again. Optimism, child, holy crap. But those that are not capable of becoming pregnant or n not in that, you know, situation, this is meeting somebody that could definitely lead to long term. It's promises made. It's yearning. It's dreaming about this person, making an offer, having a crush and jumping in and having some damn fun. Holy crap. I'm leaving it there. That is obviously what Source has for some of you out there. That's absolutely crazy. And I'm so glad that I said it before the cards came out. Okay, so you have possibly for singles, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, or an Aries here. But this looks like it goes very nicely. So if you're wondering if you've recently met somebody, if it's going to go well, it sure the hell is. It sure the hell is. That is new dating that goes beautifully, beautifully. Love it. Love it. All right. And then up here, that's a baby. I'm sorry, but there's no better way. Mother of the deck. This is a father. This is a second chance. This is planning, planning for the future, looking to the future, making the choice, but it's future, future. This person's not over you anyway, so it is something that would be destined to be, and it would be an apology. Wow. 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 Whose belly's growing? Okay. Yeah. All right. So some of you, watch out, because if you don't want to be pregnant, holy crap. Others of you, that new love, definitely there. Beautiful energy. Wow. Okay. Let's have the Wookiee get you the birthday oracle deck. Okay. Let's see what we have for yes, no. Okay, we're going to take this one. There's the sun and the world. Okay, so a positive new beginning. <laughs> yeah, again, that still can be a pregnancy, the positivity there. But optimism nonetheless, singles, new chapter, new dating, you got a double yes. Beautiful energy. Okay, and on we go. Okay, Sagittarius, if you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. All right, somebody does not want this to be done. We're not wanting a change. Yeah, they're coming back around to try to clear things up. They want to try to get back together, reclaim what's theirs, attempt to recover it. Oh, yeah. One more. Yep, yeah, they think the world of you, so they consider you to be home. Oh, it's kind of sweet, actually. But all the cards are out on the table, so there's no secrets, no bullshit here with this person. That could be decent as far as an apology. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, this person either sees that you are getting attention from other people or they're rethinking this. Spells. Why the hanged man? Oh, I don't think you're going to be dealing with this. It's like, I'm just holding back. One more for the hangman. One more for the hangman. I think you're just kind of indecisive about this. It's like messed up. Yeah. Mm -mm. If this person came back, you'd be having to completely compromise everything. They could have put you in a third party situation, but they're gossiping bullshit behind your back. No. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Ooh. All right, so somebody that's available, single, very competent, looks good, come in your direction, and a hot damn hurry, very determined, can be a heavy Cancer. 
I see you as the prize possession. Okay, definitely. This is mutual, so it could move forward absolutely fantastico. Two people that feel the same way about each other, but it is two paths to choose. So you'll think about it. I'll let you know. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's just not done with you. I feel like they're hiding something. What are they hiding? Uncertain about the future, but not feeling like it's over. Slow as hell, but that's method. Okay, so they have to drop something toxic. What did they do that was toxic? What are they hiding? They are willing to. They're rethinking everything about their values. They got a boss up. But it sure looks good. Bottom of the deck, you still might tell them to fuck off. Whatever it was with this person that was toxic, it could have been financial, but there's something that you just do not trust about this, and you're telling them no. No. No, don't come back around. Don't come around here no more. A lot of that going around today. All right. And the Wookiee has... For you grow old love. So it sounds kind of nice. Let's see what that's about. All right, Soros. Who is coming towards Sagittarius that wants to stick around for a long time? All right. So here's your ex that you are not talking to. One more for the hermit. Time out from that person. Why do we need to know about this? Because they still figure that they could be happy with you. They want contentment and they want to break through. They want to talk. They want to clear things up. How does Sagittarius feel about this? Well, some of you are welcoming this and some of you have new love. One more for the Knight of Cups. One more for the Knight Seven of Wands. Okay, so your ex is coming back your direction. Some of you are very much welcoming this and considering it the same way. There's been a time out period that this person learned a lesson. This doesn't have to be that this person ghosted you, but there can be a mutual blame. So something's got to be cleared up. It does look like this person took a time out to really think about this. Can be a Virgo. They consider you to be contentment. The long term, there's one cup missing. Here comes the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and you're mm, not taking any more bullshit, not letting them get the best of you, but it looks like you have the upper hand. Why do we have the Seven of Wands? Wheel of Fortune. And the King of Cups. Okay, well, can't get much more obvious than that. Some of you want this person back, although you know it's going to take a lot of work, but it could move forward just fine. There's still that feeling of defensive energy. Are we crooked here a little bit? Let's try to move that a little. All right. Why do we have the Seven of Wands? One more for the Seven of Wands. Why the defensiveness? Why do we have to stick up for things? The moon... So there's things that you still need. It's perception. It's all based on perception. Clear communication needs to clear that up. But this person does have emotions for you. They do care. There is love here. And this can end very well. So optimism. You got the sun and the moon. They balance each other out very beautifully. Very beautifully. Pisces, Leo, Virgo. This is like some two people that took a time out because there was difficulty in the home, in the balance between the two, could have been a power struggle between the two of you, and there was a timeout. But this does look like it moves forward, and it looks move it moves forward beautifully. Singles. What signs could be coming towards our singles? Oh, you guys have a new chapter too. Three of Wands, something to choose, something to pick. From here on out, I'm picking what's best for me. Mm -mm -mm. Can be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. 
One more for the Three of Wands. What direction are we going? Six of Cups. <laughs> so you still have somebody on your mind from the past too, but you are single. Single, single, single. King of Wands. Ooh, Aries Leo Sag again. So some of you are still stuck on the past or you want to make new memories, but you are being seen as having it all together can be somebody that is definitely ready to come to confidence. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good lover, but they stick around. You got to go to them, though. I will say that because the emperor doesn't get off his damn throne very often. This is new energy, new love, and look at what's peeking out there. The Ace of Cups. Four of Coins. So you're going to hold back until you know that it's a good offer, but this is really nice energy. Singles. It's really nice energy for reconciliation as well. So grow old together. Yes, this is somebody that you had been in a long-term connection. If you're looking to reconcile, it's definitely there. It does look like they're going to approach you and you're going to be a little defensive, but it is really nice energy. Down here, you have a brand new beginning. It's just the planning. It's the planning, but it's two people that work things out. They work together. They plan together. The emotions growing, and they see you in a completely beautiful light as extremely independent, and they want to nail that down, literally. Definitely. Nice energy. All right. So we have Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Leo, Pisces... Wish fulfillment. Just need to, you know, this mutual blame game needs to go bye-bye. And it sure looks like it does. You have the upper hand here and things move forward beautifully. Nice energy. All right. Let's see what we have from the Wookiee. We are taking this top one here. And we are taking this one. Okay. Okay. All right, so the deep bond for yous that are looking to reconcile. That is a deep bond that you cannot deny, okay? So this is saying yes to those. Now, the moon is just hidden. That's a no, but it's a lack of clarity. So it's only a no until things get cleared up. Whatever is being misconstrued or looked at as brainwashing or... That feeling of the uncertainty about the future. As soon as that's cleared up, then you have a yes. So still nice energy. I like it. All right, Sages, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Okay, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right, this person wants to come back and make a wrong right or take care of a dispute. What else? They don't have to be right anymore. Oh, because they're wanting to let go of the heartache between the two of you. They are not over you. So that could have been some really shitty verbiage that this person used, and they're regretting what the hell they said. Uh-huh. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra. Libra. Aquarius. This person feels hopeless. But they do want to come in and talk to you. Hangman reversed. I don't feel like you're going to take any offers from them. Mm -mm. Page of Wands reversed. It's like you candy ass. You left me. You know, like they bailed on you. They took off. So you do not think that they wasted your time. Period. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Ah, the devil. I will drop my toxic ways. Changing their values. Freedom. Freedom from addiction. Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. They know they hurt you. They feel like you're emotionally moody because of what the hell they did. What else? One more. Nine of Pentacles. They think that you're codependent. I think they're a jackass. No, leave them sit and wallow in their shit. They do miss you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. No talking. No reconciliation. That person just doesn't want to deal with any drama. They are just done. For fun. We'll see what's at the bottom of the deck. 
And you have Temperance. No, they're, they got a hot headed. No. No. Not stroking their ego either. Uh oh, uh, no. All right, the wiki chose a love card for you. So you have karmic love. So let's get a clean deck. And incidentally, at the bottom of the deck that I chose is justice. So something becoming right. We like it. All right, source, who's coming towards our Capricorns? Okay, somebody that has a lot of passion, new passion at beginning. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then this deck, this is beautiful. Nice energy. This is choosing to be with somebody. Oh, the passion. A new connection, a new circumstance. Exciting news, growing feelings. Ooh, the connection. The connection. What does this person want? What do they want with you? The Emperor. Woo! They mean business. Okay, why do we have the Two of Wands? This is having... They feel like this pays off. You know, to, to be stable with you. Woo! But it's two people that feel the same way. You got two twos here, so choices that still need to be made, but this is nice. When the Emperor shows up and you are absolutely single, it doesn't mean you should be meeting somebody soon. It can be an Aries. Got a lot of fire up here. What does Capricorn think about this person? Hi, Priestess. You're not sure what to think about them. So you might not... Well, I mean, if this is new, you don't know them that well. So you're going to hold, hold it in. Use your gut instinct. It's going within and trying to figure out what's best for you, but it's she who knows. Gut instincts. Making sure there's no bullshit and secrets. But you do feel a deep bond with this person. Starts small, can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you got... This is nice energy. Look at this. Woo! Wish fulfillment, contentment. This is two people that would enjoy being around each other and would grow into a very deep bond. It is that feeling of a soulmate, so karmic. Yes, it can be meant to be. Let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck. The magician, initiating contact, having everything that you need to move forward. Oh, I like it. And then right underneath of that, you got the two... You got the eight of pentacles and the two of cups. This, this can't get any better for new dating. Okay. This is somebody that's focused on this connection. It does. You're both focusing on this connection. You're both focusing on this connection. This is new energy. Contentment. There's only one cup missing and you can't have ten cups. You can have the progression towards it. But this is beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. So initiating... This person focusing, you focusing on this connection. That's beautiful energy. All right, anything else? We're only taking flippers because that's really new dating. Can be a Capricorn. This person can't get their eye off you, I feel the need to say. Yeah, and then you got the Six of Pentacles. Balanced and fair. Lusty, lusty. Lusty, lusty, lusty. Bottom of the deck now, incoming, asking you out. It's really nice energy. The The devil can be toxic, can be things that need to be dropped, but I'm feeling more that, you know, it's your card. Sorry, but it is. And wanting balance between the two of you. Twos are balance and choices. This is beautiful new energy. Good in the sack. New dating. Can be an Aries. Manifests. Wow. So if you've been working on manifesting, it's paying off. So you have Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You got fire up here very heavily. The bond, though. Ugh, beautiful energy. And sassy. Possibly sassy. Sassy, sassy. All right. And the Wookiee's going to get us the birthday tarot. All right, so let's see what we have for a yes, no, maybe so. We're taking this one. 
come here. The Hermit. This is maybe because we haven't met them possibly. And we're taking this one. The Tower. Ooh. No. Interesting. Okay, so not necessarily always no, but a, a change. So something you might not necessarily see coming, I will say. So question most on your mind could have been a no. As in point, will it be your ex? No. This is new energy. On we go. All right, Aquarius. If you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Source, fire signs. All right. Okay, well, this person's not sticking around, not waiting for you. You'd be waiting in vain for them. What else? Uh, if they came around, it would be just for sex. Okay, straight up, just screwing in it to win it, but holding their heart back. So, no, 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 no. Impatient jackass anyway. Be careful of that one. Okay, what do we have for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Libra. Yeah, that one. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The moon. Why is this person hiding truths? Two pentacles reversed. They don't know what the hell they want. They don't know. They don't know what the hell they want. One more for the moon. Nah, let them go. They're, they're trying to get their shit together, honestly. Could be moving away from you. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. King of Cups, emotionally available, emotionally mature, wanting to pay attention to you. We like that shit. But also wants to come out. Now, I flipped that in the deck. Balance, temperance, healing. This person wants to pay attention to you. They want to be a cuddle bug. They want to screw your brains out. Very nice energy coming forward. This person's in it to win it. All right. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo. Okay. Somebody that feels you are the right person and they want to jump in, but you're holding back. Why? Something's got to be dropped. So they they need to convince you. Yeah, they owe you an apology. So they still want to come in. You could have had a time period of not talking to them, wondering if they really mean it. It does look like they do. It does look like they could have paid their dues. They could have gotten some karma. But they still have feelings for you. They, they hope that they are the same. But they're dropping, changing their values. So I would say that's a legit apology. All right. Let's see what the Wookiee gets for you for a love oracle. Okay, you have seductive love. And at the bottom of the deck I chose for you, we have the fool. So it can be brand new, jumping in, taking a chance. Who is seducing? Who is seducing us? Aries Leo Sagittarius. This is a mutual uh, pays off sure thing fascination. Ooh, 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 more to explore with this person. Making plans. Ooh, emotionally available. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So they might stick around. Not just after one thing. How do they see you? Kind of stoic and shitty. Why? Because... <laughs> because you're, doing, you're spending a lot of time at work. But this person wants to... They want to spend time with you. They want to give you attention. This is beautiful attraction. Confidence. This person's going to confess their emotions to you. One more for the King of Swords. Okay. It's showing that you are frustrated. Are you sexually frustrated? What the hell here? This person's got a lot of hope and wishing, 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 daydreaming about you, but wanting to spend more time with you. You seem busy with work. How will you view this person? You're putting up clear boundaries. Clear, clear boundaries. Why the clear boundaries? 
You're pissing on the parade here, guys. What the hell? Good for you. Oh, hush, Wookie. Some of you are not over your ex, and some of you are ready to move forward. Okay, so we got a split here. So we're going to take it as a split. We're going to put that there and that there. All right, those who are not over their ex, does that person initiate contact with Aquarius? Okay, I'm kind of side. There's the fool. So yes. All right, and those that want to manifest new love... And has this King of Cups coming their direction? Are they interested? <laughs> yes. Okay, as long as there's no drama and bullshit. <laughs> there's something about you feeling the need to be at work. So I don't know if you need to spend more time at work and that's what the problem is here. But it's frustrating. It's frustrating. It's more frustrating to you than this person. It seems like they're willing to wait. But this is collaboration. This is work. This is a group of people. And it does look like you're just kind of going, you know what? I'm not dealing with the drama of you bitching about what I'm doing. We either move this forward or we don't. But it's got to be on my time. One more for the magician. It's still initiation. Moving forward, having everything that you need. All the tools that you need to do so. And you're going to let them know it. You're going to let them know it. And those that want their ex back, yes, definitely somebody is going to be reaching out. One more for that fool that came out half-cocked. They might come at you in a dumbass way. But there's a mutual blame. <laughs> yeah. You're going to tell them, you're not screwing me until we figure this shit out. <laughs> so you're going to like, you come through with an apology or forget it. <laughs> I'm not an option. I am not an option. I am not a light switch. You can't just turn me on and off. So, you guys got very mixed energy. Very, very two paths to choose. Those that want your ex back, it does look decent, but there is a mutual blame game, and you're telling them, there will be no progress until you apologize and come at me right. But, it does look like they want a new beginning. It's just how their approach is. I really feel like it's their approach. So if you're not over your ex, you will hear from them. Either way, you got the higher ground here. You notice that? You have the higher ground. You win. So we have Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Fire Signs. You're a little pissy about the fact that you need to, you know, focus on work, having to work a lot. But this person's emotionally available and they wait. So that's really nice energy for new and for wanting to reconcile. But there is a lot of shit that needs to be wrapped up, taken care of. So seductive love? Yeah, you're going to hold back on the seduction <laughs> until you get whatever job it is that you feel that you need to get done taken care of. All right, let's get out the birthday tarot oracle. Okay. So we are picking this one here. Okay. And... In the world. Very nice. And... Ooh, you know, I feel this one and this one also for some reason. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. All right. So, newbies... All right, newbie dating does look like it goes very successfully. However, those of you wanting to reconcile, got to be careful because mm, that there's a comfort zone here that they're they're just superseding some of the work that needs to be put into it. I feel the need to say can be a Capricorn, can be a Libra, can be a Taurus, heavy Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, but you got really mixed energy here. So if they piss you off and they don't come at you right, you're going to tell them no. <laughs> so you have not only a split, but those that want to reconcile, if they don't come at you right, you're going to tell them where to go. All right, Aquarius, that's what we have for you. And on we go. All right, Pisces, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Source, what do we have for fire signs? Not one in the dog. There we go. Okay. 
This person wants to get to know you and they want to be happy. That's nice energy. We like it. We're leaving it. Heavy on the Leo there. So somebody getting to know you, wanting to initiate, possibly dating, could lead to that. But texting and messaging. Mm -hmm. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Six of Wands. All right, getting your attention. In it to win it. Why the Six of Wands? Ooh, hello. This person means business. I like that. And then at the bottom of the deck, you got the King of Cups. So emotionally available, feeling a bond. Very nice energy. We're leaving it. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The world reversed in the Three of Pentacles. This person does not feel like you and them should be apart. They feel like you are a good combination. One more. How do you view it? Chariot. Okay, well, one more. I don't know. I'm feeling you're kind of cold. It's like this person could have taken off in a hot hurry and acted very cold towards you before. And you're kind of going, ah, too quick, way too quick. So they got to put more work into it. Nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. You're afraid of being hurt by this person. So it's like if they put the work into it, maybe, but they had acted cold to you before. They could have taken off in a hurry too. All right. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. The moon. Can be a Pisces, Taurus. Ooh, this is not... Okay, so this person wants to come your way with a big, fat fucking offer. They're nervous, though. Why are they nervous? They're uncertain if you're going to say yes. So nervous, nervous, nervous. Judgment. It does look like you say yes. Second chances, possibly, but new chapter. And ooh, the way they look at you. The Empress, definitely wanting to stick around. The Hermit, I'm sorry, the hair font definitely means long-term sticking around. So this is nice. Little unsure about that uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces there. All right. The Wookiee got you a love card. So you have soulmate love. This should be interesting. It's got a clear. Okay. Source. Who is coming towards our Pisces? Well, you already got somebody watching you. Page of Swords flipped out. Who's watching? Who is watching? That's being nervous, though, and kind of sneaky at the same time. Sneaky little snake. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, this is somebody that could, they're full of shit. All right. They like to embellish the truth, so they might be looking for a pity party. But you see right through it. So this is somebody that you do know. You're guarded. Holding back, not wanting to be hurt again by them. It's like I've taken enough of this shit with you. Little, def lot of, lot of defensive. Okay, why the moon reversed? What did you figure out about them prior? That they were all about the new beginning. So it's like, okay, really. That is a second chance. You might forgive this person for whatever they did. Why the Knight of Swords reversed? Ten of Pentacles kind of came out half cocked. So this person could have left a long-term connection and wanting to come back. But it's all about the new. This person wants to be a little bit impulsive and just, you know, be all optimistic and flirty. And every, hey, I'm back. Everything's great. And how will you feel about this? Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. 
This can be an apology, but this person is in it to win it. So are you. Look at that. The Empress. The Abundance of Emotions. Wow. Six of Wands can be a return of an ex. Just saying. It does look like it's been a long time, though. Why do we have the Ten of Wands wanting to come out? Why the Ten of Wands? You may have felt like you put all the work into this. Four of Swords, but you're ready to talk. Okay, so you took a time out. I feel like they were codependent about something. Keep in mind that wish fulfillment might cost you, so there's going to have to be some compromise, but this person does miss you. You miss them. How does this pan out, Source? How does this all work out? One more shuffle. There needs to be clear communication and very clear boundaries put up before this moves forward, but starts small, does look damn good. This person's not over you, so wanting to reconcile. They're watching right now. They're nervous as hell. They're going to come in with a bit of a pity party. You're going to see through it, and yet at the same time, you don't really care. You're happy to see them. Absolutely single, single, single. I'm starting to lose my voice. Singles. Absolutely singles. Who is coming towards our singles? No. No, 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 no. Unreliable asshole that's hurt you in the past. We aren't having that. What else? Somebody that could have lied about being single. I don't like that shit at all. No. No. You're definitely telling them to take it elsewhere. The world means that something still needs to be wrapped up. For you, you of those that are wanting to reconcile, it's not over. No. I mean, this is connection again. But those of you that are single still have somebody that hurts you. That's trying to come your direction and you're not having anything to do with it. Why the sun reversed? Because they wouldn't commit. So it's just a screw buddy. Just a screw buddy. Regretting. But they aren't in it for the long haul. So anybody coming their direction that they can trust right now. Flippers only. One more shuffle, just in case. Not seeing it single, sorry. No, there's trust, trust issues going on here. This could have been competition. I feel like this person lied about being single. They could have put you in a third party situation that you didn't even realize you were in. Five of Wands, they got busted. Oh yeah. So processing the drama, trying to move past that. Some of you are going to wait until they supposedly say they're going to free up their energy with the person that they're still with. But they're not over that person either. No. Don't believe it. If somebody tells you that they're getting a divorce, they're not. They tell you they're leaving their significant other, they are not. Ask him for paperwork. Yeah, right. Show me the paperwork, jackass. It's like C-cap. C-cap. Isn't that C-cap? Yep. Yeah. C-cap the ass. Regret, remorse, missing. Hair font reverse means not reliable. Not. I, you know, I don't want to say not a decent person, but they're a commitment fool. They want to have their uh, cake and eat it too. They're not in this to be committed to you they're just not they want their freedom and they're manipulative and they're full of shit foggy future with that person you already know they hurt you once they would do it again sorry singles but that's bleh. okay so this is seeing right through somebody you know them like the back of your hand it is soulmate love yes this is somebody that you do want to clear things up with it is a lot of work, but it does look like you want this. You're restless and ready to talk to this person. It looks like you miss them. You know there needs to be compromise. That or they need to compromise, but not. And I do feel like they could have been codependent.
But they're codependent on you and the relationship. Is that good to you or bad to you? You have to make that decision. They're coming in with an apology saying that they still love you. They mean it. They do mean it. So right now, watching, checking it out, very nervous. Very nervous. Even if they come in and they act like they are confident, they're not as confident as they try to make themselves out to be. But they do care about you. They do. So you have... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a lot of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't trust anybody in this shit, honestly. You see through them, and at the same time, you're accepting it. I do feel like they have an earnest... Even though they embellish the truth, I, I do feel like that they do care about you. They do want to start over. Do you have doubt? Some of you, yes. And some of you are going, yeah, I think that we could give this another shot. Mixed energy there. Quite the fuck up. Confusion as hell. All right, let's get out the birthday oracle. Okay. Let's see what we get for Pisces. Well, we'll take two. And this one here. That one? Yep. The tower. No, that's for you singles that have a player. And then those that want your ex back are looking at reconciliation. You're making it happen. This is progression. It moves forward absolutely beautifully. So that's a yes, yes. No, no, no to the person that's already in a different relationship. You're going to get busted and then you're going to have shit with the third party of the oops, didn't know. Okay, so you have Cancer here, Scorpio here, and the Magician, the power to make it all happen. Beautiful energy. Singles, hang in there. All right. Okay, Pisces, that's what we have for you today. Thank you for watching and many blessings.